We fished together a lot in Norway, mostly, I would say. Yeah, the last time was Norway, so... For me, it's Norway yeah. and, and Scandinavia. That is the fishing for... I like hard, hard, difficult fishing. And I like easy fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I like to catch fish. <laughs> I look at our, the business side of, of loop as if you have an arrow, you have the head with the three corners. I would say that the products are the tip that must be there. That is the most important. Then the rest of, of uh, the arrow, you have selling and you have marketing. This is what, what I have been focused on. Th that is what I like to do. The products, the marketing, the selling, the whole package is very funny to work with. I'm very happy to have got the chance to do this all my life. One thing that has always been very important for us is not to make gimmicks. Even if some of our things people can look at as gimmick, but we always try to uh, put the function. It must be, if we make a product, it must help the angler in some way to make life easier as a fly fisherman. Like with this uh, six corner handle, it helped me because if I have a tw 12 weight line, nine foot, around the handle, I need to squeeze so much. But with these six corners, I can squeeze half and I still can handle that heavy rod. This is a typical small example of small improvements that comes when you are doing the sport. And we had that genetically to improve, improve, improve. We are never satisfied. Unlike Scotland, where they have created this spay cast, uh, which is a very long line and you need space behind you, their rivers was, is much more open, have more space around the rivers. While in Sweden, it's forest and mountain sites, it's much more tricky to fly fish. We created tackle so we could fish in, these, in our rivers and we call it the underhand casting. That was Jöran's innovation. My first fly rod was a gift of, from my father when I was five years old. Split can. Compared to the material we have today, it was an awful rod, but it was my rod. So adapted line, that means I start all cast from water and I shoot the distance. I start cast from the water and the move in the air as an overhead cast was absolutely something new. Everyone, I can guarantee that, come into it and begin to practice it, love it, but they begin to fish another way. So it's not difficult, it's only different. But I have always been trying to find diverging places where mankind have not destroyed anything. And I like them just because of the feeling that it's, it's pure nature. If I have too many fish that day, I know it's, it's natural. But what I don't like any longer is the feeling of fishing in the river and there is no fish because there are too many nets in the fjord or there's always these excuses. I try to find places today where I don't have to have these excuses. If you don't catch fish, it's a natural thing. It's not because of 10 nets in, in, in the mouth of the river. You so. come to waters like that, 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 is, that is fly fishing. It gives you such a wonderful feeling to, to see that these places exist. So that's why we have been trying to set up, find these places, protect them. That is also very important work we have always been doing to protect these places from netting from, from everything, and as long as we had tourists in many of these places, we could protect these virgin waters. Like down in Argentina and Rio Gegos. When I came there 10 years ago, it was 55 netting stations. Now it's zero. You try to build in knowledge. How can you keep the, this resource and still have some, in, some income from it? It could still be there instead of killing it. If you fish much, traveling much, you first of all you learn to know people. You know, to learn different kind of fishing, and that gave influences to new action, new line times, and, and way to fishing. I've been running the lodges from Kola Peninsula now, Argentina, Cuba. Last week I was in our camp. It was nine different nationalities, 
with all their own experience from, from Australia, New Zealand, from Iceland, and everyone is talking about their things. And of course, it's, it, it gives you a lot of uh, information, and uh, that that's, has created a lot of tackle. The underhand technique has also been spreading around the world like that because they see it's so much more effective and efficient to use. And if you know the technique, you definitely catch much more fish. And I have a very my best fishing ever I had for Atlantic salmon was in Yukanga, where it was uh, in, in Russia. It was a mountain here, and the other guys that was with me did not have the right lines or the right technique. It was a nice glide and you could see the salmon was coming like this and they they couldn't get the fly out there and i think i landed 10 over 8 kilo after each other and they were furious if, if we put out something today on the market it must be something that we can explain and something that help people to to make fly fishing easier or more exciting or whatever you call it but we will not make tackle today just for selling it it's of course it's for selling but it must add something to the sport rods made for fishing rods made for fishing yes mm -hmm.